in your hymnals. God is going to be glorified, brother. Jesus was entrusted with power and was faithful with what the Father gave him. We know this to be true. So this is my exhortation to you that we put our hands to the plow and that we continue with the work. Knowing that Jesus was faithful, that he was given the power and he was faithful with what the Father gave him. Ephesians 5.14 says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See, this is a work that Christ is doing, and as we put our hands to the plow, we cannot fail. Those who do not see this great truth that was ministered to us this morning, I mean this afternoon, tonight, doesn't really matter. When Christ comes back, it doesn't really matter. When, when, when we put our hands to the plow, we cannot fail. Those who don't see this truth, well, failure is, this is what, that, that's the end for them. But for us, no, brethren. The exhortation is, Christ has done the work. He has been faithful. He has been entrusted, and he has been faithful. This is a work that Christ is doing, that God gets the glory. God will receive the glory in the end. Those who are, who are not faithful, who have turned their back on God, well, their end is sure. But to those who continue with the work, who continue with the hand to the plow, we know that our end is sure also. That just as Christ was faithful, that in the end, we're going to be blessed with him that God is glorified. This is such a great work that no one will be lost. Not one that God has chosen will be lost in the end. Not one. Yeah. Every single one will be there. There's not one that's going to slip through the cracks. This, this is such a great work. Yeah. To the ends of the earth, every one that God has chosen will be there. Christ has not lost one. None who are not offended by Christ. Some are, gonna, some are offended, but not us, brethren. Those who are not offended will be pleasing yeah. to our God. Jesus is the only way. He is the chosen one. We can go no other place that God will be pleased. There is no other place we can go but to Jesus. He's been chosen by God and he's fulfilled what God has given him to do. We see through the law that that wasn't good enough. We needed a savior. And he has come and fulfilled the work. Jesus has the approval of the Father. Some have said that we are just like those disobedient people of the past. But brethren, we are not. In Christ Jesus, we are not just like this, the, 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 those who were disobedient. We are righteous and holy in Christ Jesus. And that's how we are in Christ Jesus. He, is, he has been given power to those who come to him. He, don't, he doesn't turn, like Brother Jim was taught, is preaching tonight. He doesn't turn him away. To those who come to Christ, he, he, he takes them in. He's, God has drawn his people to Christ, and he will not turn away. So when we're with Christ, there's nothing that we cannot do that, will be, that would not be pleasing to our Father in heaven. We are pleasing in Christ Jesus. We are holy and righteous. So we better not say that we are disobedient just like those before. This is, this is from the evil one. This is a wicked, wicked teaching. Now is the time to crucify the flesh and to follow Jesus. Yet now we see the mercy that God has given us, the, he has bestowed upon us because of Christ. 
The law of Moses could not justify us, but Christ did. In Christ, we are justified. We, so we can be strong now. See, we were weak before, but in Christ Jesus, we can be strong and live righteous and holy lives. Living holy before our God, that we, he may be pleased with us. Salvation unto the end of the earth, we're talking about. This isn't, no, this isn't a meek and, and weak salvation. This is a salvation that covers to the end of the earth. Those who come to Jesus will not be turned away. Because of Jesus, all who were in darkness now are in light. We Before we couldn't see, but now we can see. Before, those who before, had, may, they may have been had excuse because of darkness, because there was not going to be any excuse in the end. But it, just to make a point, we had excuse because of darkness. But now in Christ Jesus, there is no darkness. We have the light. We can see. We can see that God is pleased with those who are in Christ. Because of Jesus. So let us give thanks that we have the light. Because being Gentiles, we are, we are cut off, but now because of Christ Jesus, we're in. The work of God will not fail. We can place our hands to the plow, now doing the work that needs to be done, and in Christ Jesus, it, will, it is done. It is, we, we, we already have the victory, brethren. We see that because of Christ. So it's time now for us to engage ourselves more today than we did yesterday. Yeah, you did a good work yesterday. I'll give you that. You, you, you lived your life holy and righteous yesterday. But today is the day to do more. Today is the day to pick up the pace. That, that's what I, I want to encourage you, brethren, to do. Seeing this great and holy truth that Brother Gene has preached to us tonight, that Whatever you did yesterday, that was good. You, you kept the faith, that was good. But today is the day for us to engage and do more than we did yesterday. So I'm thankful for this, that because of Christ, we have this light. Because of Christ, it is fulfilled. Because of Christ, we have the power to succeed and be pleasing to our Father. So I open it up to you, brother, now.